Okay, you saw the data yesterday. Today, just uh, thoughts, psychological, emotional. Are the free rolls worth it? I'll answer in two parts. This iteration, how was it for me? Was it worth it for me? And just in general, in the future, for anyone, anywhere, do I think they're worth it? Once the trim gets going, I'll say more things, because I don't know if someone's going to jump on and interrupt this scene. All right, we haven't moved yet, but no one's jumping on. This one wasn't bad for me, because I picked three places that I like in the first place. Westgate, Bally's, and MGM. I could have picked South Point. Don't love playing there. I could have picked Venetian. Don't like it there in general, especially not during their, like, oh, you have six weeks to play maximum hours, top 100 hours here? earners. The tram doors are closing. Top 100 hours earners get into a, a free roll tournament. Really don't like playing Venetian during those. It also would have been a much different timeline. So these three places I like, I enjoyed it. Uh, Westgate, when it, even when it's a small game, Westgate makes up for it because it's a very social game. It's often like a home game. I like that. Valleys, I enjoy in general. Haven't at the beginning of this year, but lately I've been enjoying Valleys a lot more, so I just enjoyed playing there. Uh, it was a lot of hours to force into three different uh, qualification periods, but I enjoy it. And MGM, I just, I've been enjoying MGM mostly, except during the uh, some right back promos, but I've been enjoying it basically for like the past three years. So I picked places I enjoyed would have been much much different if I played South Point Venetian not just places I don't enjoy playing but places that are like more difficult to get to Westgate's not close to other things but at least it's on the monorail and so are MGM and Bally's so to like play South Point would be like I would really really need to force it because I can't see myself giving South Point a try then driving eight miles to the strip and then going back and giving it a second try but like I could do that at MGM I could play MGM if it's not great, play the monorail, uh, take the monorail to Bally's and then take the monorail back to MGM and give it a try two times in one day to try to get those hours in. So for me, wasn't bad at all. I picked places I liked that are easy to get to. In general, I would never force one from the beginning. I would be aware of them and I would play somewhere you like. And if with like two days left, you only need like five hours to qualify for something, then force the last five even if it's not a great game. I wouldn't do it from the beginning. Back in 2015, I tried forcing something at Harrah's. It was hell. I stopped before I qualified for the first weekly free roll tournament. In uh, last year, I tried one of those Venetian things I was talking about. Long time period, a lot of hours. Uh, before the first week was up, I stopped. I couldn't take it. So I play places I like. I'm aware of the promos. If I happen to be close, like halfway through, three quarters of the way through, then I make sure I get it. And that's what happens at MGM a lot in the last two, three years. I play there a lot because I like it. Happen to take advantage of some of the promos. Same thing at Bally's Westgate. Even in 2017, I enjoyed playing at Mirage. I got into uh, some free roll tournament. There was like a six week qualifying period. I played enough to get in with like a small amount of chips. And you know, I wasn't forcing it from day one, but I happened to play enough, got in, and I was eligible for some uh, free roll tournament payout that we had in spring 2017. So I would never force the whole thing, but maybe force the last little bit if you've been playing there anyway. And remember, rice is a spoon food. <laughs>